Parents of Reddit, what's the funniest reason you've been called into school to collect your child? I got a phone call earlier this year from the school nurse, saying she was concerned because my son had passed out while in the lunch line. I went to pick him up and he seemed a little dazed. But okay. My kid couldn't remember anything about what happened beforehand. So I made an appointment with his pediatrician for an hour later. Right as we were getting ready to leave. He sheepishly said mom. I just remembered that right before I passed out. We were playing a game to see who could turn their face the reddest. So. My kid had me thinking he had a brain tumor but no. He just held his breath until he passed out. And not a single other kid thought they should mention that to the teacher. Thanks for the gold. My youngest had a slight speech impediment when he was at nursery. He would replace his S's with F's to approximate the sound. I had to have a chat with the head at pickup time because I'd unthinkingly use the phrase so long suckers when pulling away from some traffic lights the day before and he liked the sound of it so much he used it himself. I was in an early morning college class and when I got out I realized I had missed calls, texts, and emails from my daughter's preschool. A voicemail said she had been throwing up and to please hurry and come get her. When I got to the school the receptionist showed me to a room where my daughter was sat with a trash can on her lap. She told me my daughter kept announcing she was throwing up and then would cough and spit into the trash can. She had no fever and was otherwise cheerful and talkative. I signed her out. Got her outside and into my car where she jumped forward and kissed my cheek and told me she missed me and where would I like to go for lunch. That kid busted herself out of preschool to finagle a lunch date with me. It worked. I got a call that my son was sick and that I had to come pick him up. He was completely fine that morning. I asked the nurse. He really can't go back to class and she said. He says he's really sick. Fine. I picked him up and on the walk home I asked what was up. He said he had to fart really badly and didn't want to do it in class. I laughed and said okay. Two days later I get another call to pick him up. So I got him and it was for the same reason. I told him that it was funny once but that from now on. If he needed to fart in class. He should go to the bathroom lol. I was called in because the elementary school was going on a field that my son forgot to give me the permission slip for. He decided to give forgery a whirl. This was in first grade so the handwriting was awful. He also signed my name wrong. My mother was called to pick me and my twin sister up because we were turning blue. I think it was fourth grade. We felt fine though. It was only after she arrived that we all remembered she had put brand new blue flannel sheets on our bed the night before. Apparently she hadn't washed them first. Edit. Wow. Silver. I've never had one of these before. I'm really honored. I was the child. In 6th grade, I was 12. I was in my emo phase and was wearing a lot of black eyeshadow from Claire's. I guess I wasn't so good at my makeup yet because they called my mom into the office to discuss my injuries and who was hurting me. In my senior year of high school I was nearly not allowed to graduate and my family was called because I forged my own name. By writing in the guardian section of a permission slip, I was 18. My professor cited my mom because she said I was writing too slow and turned my test in right as the bell rang. My mom had to leave work early to hear about her child writing slow. The reason I was writing slow was because on my last test, I was docked points for handwriting. So this time I made sure I had the prettiest, most fanciest handwriting that teacher had ever seen. After that, the teacher stopped docking me points due to handwriting. My little brother liked cheese and mustard sandwiches. So my mom made him cheese and mustard sandwiches for lunch. When the teacher asked why he didn't have any meat on his sandwich. He said either we can't afford meat or my mom doesn't let me or something like that. Whatever he said was enough to send CPS over to the house. Another time. He came to school saying that his mom loved coke. That his mom said she's addicted to coke. CPS was called again. They lived in a different area this time. Coca Cola. My mom couldn't go a day without a coke. So she'd joke that she was addicted to coke. 
I do see the irony that she was actually addicted to a drug. Just not the one CPS was worried about. Funniest one I've ever heard, my kids surprisingly well behaved. At school, was a parent having to come get their kid after they were caught selling imaginary friends to the younger students for one dollar apiece. That kid's gonna become a business mogul someday. My son, 14. 8th grade, during class change walked into the boys bathroom. Put his hands over his head and while thrusting his hips in a humping motion told all the other boys in the room to protect your buttholes gentlemen. Here I come. The funniest part about it all. That exact same description was jotted down on the right up slip. Even the principal couldn't stop laughing. Edit, thanks for the silver. My first. I made the mistake of telling my stepdaughter about the professor I had in college that we knew never read our paper so it turned into a class game to fit ridiculous sentences and bad jokes into the middle of them to see if we'd ever get caught. She apparently decided that was an amazing thing to do and I got called for a phone conference because she turned in a history paper that was chock full of awful puns that were not appreciated. <laughs> Nephew is staying with me for 2 months, I showed him Dexter's laboratory for the first time. Next day they call me to pick him up because he would only say omelette doof romage to any interaction. My child's first grade teacher was upset that he had accidentally smooshed a butterfly on the playground at recess. When I got there my child was also missing his glasses. She hadn't noticed this. Full stop. My 4 year old's teacher told me he had repeatedly called her an asshole. She had taken something away from him and said that's all. Every time she came near him he said that's all to her. Knowing him. He probably he used the same tone of voice she had used. And she was a nasty piece of work. I got a call to pick up my daughter in kindergarten because she had no underwear. She had them on when I put her on the bus so I have no idea what happened. Totally embarrassing. Oh. My. I have four kids. All adults now who were pretty high spirited back in the day. My oldest son. However wins the prize from an incident in 6th grade. I got a call one afternoon that he had been sent to the principal's office. Nothing new there. And I needed to come get him at once. Uh oh. He had mooned the second graders. All of them. And their teachers. Not a parent but as a kid when I got Pokemon Yellow I was so goddamn into it that when we went out for lunch one day at school. I got inside this huge bush that was practically hollow inside. It was among a load of other large bushes and trees at the side of the school field and rarely ever was entered by students because we weren't really allowed. So I sat there 4 hours playing Pokemon and when I came out it was 3pm. School closed at 3.30. I had been in there since 12.30 and my mother was at the school and was freaking out because she thought they let me leave the school alone. I was the kid and I was in third grade. I climbed on a tree, not even that high, and then I wanted to climb down. A teacher who hated me saw me and told me to stay there and not to move. I told her it's no problem for me to come down. She insisted I stayed there and turned around to call the fire brigade to get me down. I had enough and climbed down anyway and then she called my mom because it was my fault the fire brigade was called for no reason. I was called to collect my son when he was in first grade because he was being disrespectful to his classmates. They wouldn't explain. My son told me that Jeffrey pantsed him. That makes no sense. About an hour later the light bulb went on. You didn't wear underwear today. Did you? Nope. My kid got in huge trouble in kindergarten. A girl told the teacher he said the S word. He lost recess. They called me. It was a big deal. I went to pick him up and said. So. What's the S word? And he stared at his shoes and whispered. Sexy. Yeah. Confirmed by the little tattletale. All of this was caused by sexy. First day of first grade I get a call mid morning from the school saying my son had gotten in trouble. He was caught as he was trying to leave the building. A little backstory. He went to a small church school for kindergarten made up of only 5 kids and he was the only boy. 
so when they had playtime all the girls wanted to play house and things of that nature and he of course didn't. He wanted to build and make things. So the teacher would let him do his own thing. Now. Being in a new school they had playtime and he did not want to do what they were all doing so he was looking at a book. The teacher called for him to come over which he did. But two other boys just happened to be laughing. Not at him. Just amongst themselves. He thought it was about him and stood up grabbed his backpack and walked out and stood on the sidewalk. When I asked why he left his reply was. This is where the bus dropped me off so I was just waiting for it to come and pick me up. Not me. But my sister. She got a call from her son's very catholic school that he needed to be picked up. She gets to the school and the principal said that he had to hoe home for the day because he peed on the tree outside at recess. He really laid into her about how they had to bleach the tree, seriously. They poured bleach on the tree because a little kid peed on it, and it was terrible and how she shouldn't be teaching her son these things. My sister looked him straight in the eye and asked. Do you really think I have the right plumbing to have taught him that? Yell at my husband when he comes in next time. My child with mild trinid allergy went to the nurse since she ate a mystery food and her throat felt weird. She has been evaluated and her allergy does not warrant an EpiPen. I rush over because she usually gets hysterical and would need Benadryl which the school can't administer. I arrive. She is all smiles. She feels better now after some water. The mystery food. Fuego Takis. Minor edit. She was 6 when this happened. My mom once had to collect me since I ate 12 hot dogs, way more than my share. I think we were allowed 4 each. But I bartered away some Zelda merch, mainly those sort of puffy stickers I'd gotten from the Swedish Nintendo Club. I threw them all up on the ride home and proceeded to throw up for 3 days. I've never since touched a hot dog, except vegetarian ones. My ex and his friends got suspended for making a health video that featured an Easter Bunny costume humping a potato can and saying radioactive pen 15 wankers. His mother was livid. His father couldn't keep a straight face. I have no idea what the real project was but this is what they turned in. I was there but not in the video so I never got in trouble. Not me. But a classmate of a co-worker sent everyone home once. Many years ago. He nicked decent bit of elemental potassium from the chemistry lab and dropped it down the sewer access pipe outside the school. This was not good for the school's plumbing. City had to dig up the sidewalk to repair things. Not a parent but I had to pick up my little brother after he fed a kid laxatives and gave him a wedgie about 30 minutes after. School was closed for 2 days making sure the mess was disinfected. My mom told me that when my brother was in grade school. She got the call to pick him up for a day's suspension. Turned out that during lunch he opened his lunchbox and pulled out a can of Foster's. It was empty and it was meant to be a joke. But the school didn't see it that way. He was 9 and right at the start of a decade long mission to raise hell. Not a parent but when I was a kid I was pretty troubled at school because that place honestly sucked. In 4th grade this mean kid sitting next to me threw stuff at me. He's still sheety honestly, and I was getting sick of it. I took my book and started a conversation that went like. Hey you know why I like this book? Because it can be used as a shield he threw something at me and I used the book as a shield going look. I have a shield methodica he paused and I did too. Then I went another reason I whacked him on the head with it and went look it can whack methodicas too. I was sent home for that. That kid was biased too. I remember my parents having to come get me when I was in I think kindergarten because I had a carton of chocolate milk with lunch that day. Got sick later on and threw up all over the back of the girl in front of me. That was almost 20 years ago and I still remember who it was in the incident happening. We graduated high school together. And she would periodically remind me of it happening as well. Not my kid but me. Used permanent marker to draw beard tears. Apparently principal decided that it's against school rules to mask yourself that you are unidentified. Me. When I was a kid we moved from middle America to the west coast. I had extra R sounds in a lot of my words. They called my mom about my speech impediment. 
after talking to my mom. They understood it was not a so etch impediment but my birth sound language. It is Washington not Washington. I was in preschool at a church run program. I came back from spending summers at the beach with my brother. At the skate ramp. And I had learned some fun new words. I do not remember doing this at all. I was only 4. But I was told a little boy took the toy I was playing with. And I stood up. And screamed at the top of my lungs. Give me back my GD toy you fenning a hole. One of the little sweet church ladies that run the program spot on her head around and said. What did you just say so I repeated it. I received a call from the VP of my daughter's school one day while I was at work. I could tell the VP was holding back her laughter. But she tried to remain professional. Hello. Your daughter acted out in class today. The children were switching from coloring to reading at the carpet. She threw her crayons down and pointedly said to the teacher are you ducking kidding me? My knee jerk reaction was damn it. Are you ducking kidding me? It is clear where she learned this from. My second thought was damn. I have a kid in junior kindergarten that knows how to use that phrase in a correct form. The following year. The VP is no longer at the school. We attend similar social group and talk often. She loves to tell me that making that phone call was one of the funniest calls she has had to make as an educator. Developmental preschool had me take her home because of farts. My daughter has legendary rank farts and refuses to poop away from home. They thought she needed to go. No. My home girl was just gassy. Not me. But my co-worker at the time. The school called her one day to come pick up her 5 year old daughter for threatening to mad dare the teacher. Her daughter had gotten in trouble for talking. When the teacher put her in time out. She said if you put me in time out. My daddy is going to come here and mad dare you. Turns out. My co-worker lives on a farm where they butcher pigs. When it was time to butcher a pig. Her dad would say gonna go mad dare a pig. Which is where she picked it up. When they asked her what she thought that word meant. She said you know. Mare dare it. They go away and you get a new one. So. She thought she could get her daddy to come out and replace the teacher with a new teacher and that was what the word mare dare meant. Full stop. My daughter, two at the time, last summer managed to grab some scissors, sharp end first, and walked around spraying blood across a Montessori classroom. She was fine didn't even need stitches. But the handprint on the fish tank was some classy work. My other daughter, identical twins, holds the record at that nursery of being sent home before she'd even been signed in for the day from the start of this school year. She was playing with a toy before going off to her room. Other kid decided they wanted that toy. Tried to take it. My daughter. This tiny little girl. Turns round and clocks this, much bigger boy with a perfect right hook and carries on playing with said toy. Lol I remember when the VP called my dad because of my very offensive and inappropriate shirt. What was the shirt? A plain white tee with a crudely drawn drum set on the front. And the bass drum had a skull on it. He was told either bring him a new shirt or take him home. He came to pick me up and right in front of the VP he smiled at me and said wanna go grab buffalo wild wings? We can run next door and get frozen yogurt after. We could also hit a movie if you want. I'm done with work for the day anyways. Oh man you could see the blood boil in the VP as every vein in her face achieved the diameter of a garden hose. My sister was called in after I'd been in a fight with another lad. We'd both had to write down what had caused the fight. In which I wrote that I'd called him a lanky streak of piss. The head teacher read this out to my sister saying how terrible it was that friends could speak to each other in this way. My sister was having to bite her tongue in order to not laugh. As the head was being so serious about a little scrap. 